can go out into the ghost room. And that's where the, the ghosts uh, like to hang out. We got to not one but two ghosts. And they do move throughout the restaurant, but they like this room in particular. The ghosts came about because the first family that moved in here, the Maiz family, uh, built this huge house. It's uh, still the largest house ever built in Messiah. Mm -hmm. And big house like this, they had a lot of servants. One of the servants was a little teenage girl named Inez. Well, in the family, there was a teenage boy named Armando. Well, teenage boy, teenage girl, same roof, mm -hmm. fell in love. Right. And you know, teenagers don't fall in love, they fall in love. Right, right. Well, mom finds out about the romance, says, there's no way my son's going to marry a maid. We've got big plans for you. You're going to marry you off to Arisoxy down in Chihuahua City, maybe even Mexico City. And if we do have to scrape the bottom on the social scale, we go to the Americans in Santa Fe, but that's as low as we're going. <laughs> yeah, those Americans. Those Americans are right pretty low. Right with the servant, right, yeah. So she fires Inez, sends her from the house, says they cannot see one another. But do change boys listen to their mother? Of course they continue signal on the side, and one day mom comes home early and unexpectedly from a trip, and she finds Armando and Inez in Armando's bedroom, this room. And they were in here and they were, um, well, yeah, getting yeah. Uh, so Having a conversation. Having a conversation. Right. Apparently kind of loudly, because mom <laughs> comes from across this huge house to find out what's going on. Right. Mom gets so upset, she grabs her sewing shears, and in those days they were a big pair of scissors, and she attacks Inez, stabs her to death, and in the struggle, she stabs her own son, and he died in the same room three days later. So the important thing for us is that they both died. Right. Because now we got two right. ghosts. Right. And ever since then, the house has been haunted by the ghost lovers. Um, Robert O. Anderson didn't know that when he bought the building. He didn't know it was haunted. The Messieros are kind of closed mouth people, so they wouldn't tell him. Mm -hmm. Things started happening. The interior decorator put a couple of chairs in the corner of this kind of square room to kind of fill space, and the chairs immediately started wearing out. And if you look closely, you can see the wear marks, and they're exactly where somebody would be sitting with their back, with the arms, uh, and on the seat. And if you look closely on the front of the seat, you can see that one of the chairs is worn very evenly across the front, and one of the chairs is worn like in two spots where somebody's wearing pants. Mm -hmm. So we know that that chair belongs to Inez mm -hmm. and the chair with two spots belongs to Armando. And uh, so this is their, their room and the, uh, it was named uh, the Carlotta Room after Empress Carlotta of Mexico before they found out about the ghosts. Uh, since then they brought in a couple of paintings here that were done from the memory of uh, somebody who was like six or seven at the time, she said, or explained this to a painter when she was a grandmother uh, in her 60s, and so we're not quite sure how her, her memory right, was, right, right, but right. this is what she remembers the parents looking like. This is Mr. Maiz, and this is Mrs. Maiz. And uh, the paintings have been kind of vandalized over the years, but the story is that after the murders, uh, because they were wealthy citizens, nothing really happened to her. Um, they did sell the house about six months later and move down to the interior of Mexico in Chihuahua. The story we see is that she went into an insane asylum and never spoke again uh, after the murders, but we can track the move to Chihuahua, but we don't really know what happened after that specifically. So this would be Mrs. Maiz, and she's the, the scissor wielder, right, she's a crazy and that was her woman. husband. Right. So. And, uh, I'm kind of surprised that the ghosts haven't uh, haven't messed with the painting. Actually, no, no, they don't. They know that was uh, all human stuff. Uh, right. Actually, high schoolers on various trips. So I've, uh, I've got to ask: Have, uh, have uh, servers or waiters, waitstaff? Oh yeah, seen quite or, often. Yeah. Uh, the ghosts are not mean or malevolent. Mm -hmm. uh, at least not to us. Uh, the things they do are more like teenage pranks. Uh, they move things around. Um, they turn lights on and off that you know are connected to a breaker, so if that light will go on, but this light will stay on, you know, they're on the same circuit. So that sort of thing happens. Uh, they play particular tricks on some of the servers. 
from one server, they, she hears her name being called from another room. And there's 13 rooms in the, the building, so she goes to the next room and goes, what, what? There's nobody there. She hears it from the next room. So she circles the building three or times before she figures it out. It's that it's the ghost. ghost right, you know. right. oh, that's um, great. A couple of uh, summers ago, we had uh, about three or four people, uh, three or four tables left on the patio out there. And uh, some people got up and left. And <clears throat> one of the glasses sitting on the table moved to the edge of the table and dropped off and broke on the patio floor. And all these people watched it. And one of the ladies was from California and said, well, do you guys have earthquakes? Is that what happened in County Chicago? And I told her about the ghost, and I think she would have preferred the earthquake. <laughs> did they leave quickly? No, they all were you know, taking pictures of right, the broken right, glass right, and wouldn't right. let us sweep it up. It's like, okay, it's just a broken glass. Yeah, okay. it happens all the time. <laughs> right, it happens all the time. So we get pretty casual about right, it. Absolutely. But, uh, the only time they seem to get upset is when you sit in their chairs ah. and it doesn't happen to everyone, it doesn't happen to uh, uh, all the time, but we've got many, many comments of people who've come in and sat in the chairs uh, saying, I'm afraid of no ghost. Right. And uh, the next few days things happen to them, they have bad dreams, uh, nightmares, uh, that sort of thing. Right. So. We've got a, a lot of postcards and notes and emails from people saying, oh my God, warn people about those damn yeah. chairs. <laughs> Don't sit in the chairs. Have you ever tried to have them reupholstered or anything like that? Um, we, we have, actually, uh, because they couldn't figure out what was going on and didn't realize the chairs were connected. Uh, the chairs were reupholstered about uh, three years, like 1973. Uh -huh. uh, and it, they immediately started wearing out again. So we haven't touched them right. since. Uh, that one, you can see that one's just really got that. Yeah, and impression. like I say, we wear it, we warn people don't sit in the chairs. Like, like and even if right one now. or two pop in for a minute or two, mm -hmm. uh, that still wouldn't cause the level of wear that we're seeing. Right, so, no, absolutely. Just one of those odd occurrences. Yeah. We did have uh, dinner parties in here, and uh, people who uh, are psychics, they're not called psychics anymore, they're called sensitives. Yes, sensitives. My wife is sensitive. Well, right. okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, so she, stuff. people are in here and uh, they'll have to leave. They really? say, you know, there's just this activity is so strong. Uh, we had one dinner party and asked us to come in uh, and close the window uh, because uh, cold air was coming in. They were, they were very cold. And we had to explain that that's really not a real window. It's a solid wall and we just kind of hung it on there for the look uh -huh. and uh, they immediately left. They, <laughs> they moved out to the patio. They, right. they didn't want to see it. Right. So things like that do happen all oh, the time. That's wonderful. Uh, Clint, you want to take a seat in the chair so I can get a shot of you? No. Uh, no I think I'll, I'll stay away from the chair. Um, smart man. Yeah. Not I'll a brave man, but a smart man. Not a brave man. <laughs> you know,